Hello there, Pete Brooker here from Tailors with Love. Today I'm going to take you inside the Turnbull and Asa store in New York. Yo. And I'm going to be talking to Daniel Straub, who is the bespoke shirt maker there, and he's going to give me a run through on the Turnbull and Nasser ties and take me through all of the great Bond ties also that's been featured that Turnbull and Nasser have provided for the films. You'll have to bear with me with some of the recording. I gave the camera to my girlfriend and she didn't really know how to use it. And I can't blame her. I don't really know how to use it either. So <laughs> just hang with me on this one. Matt Space is also going to jump on the line. He's going to talk us through what the differences are between a grenadine and a knitted tie. So stay tuned for that. Let's see, so tie, basic makeup, it essentially is made of three parts. The, um, you know, so the outer silk, the lining, and then uh, the tip here. So the, uh, this large part, you have the blade. All turmoil and aster ties have sort of like a spine that goes, that goes throughout all of them. So, so that's what, so they're, in, so silk as a, as a fiber is incredibly durable. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what this sort of spine does is it keeps everything aligned and you can essentially ball up, ball up one of our ties, throw it, you know, throw it in your suitcase, whatever, and then all you have to do is just sort of massage it down its spine, give it a good thing, and, then, that, and, yeah, yeah. and the tie will be beautiful. And so any other fabric, I mean like a polyester for example, would that have the same bounce back? Most likely not. Mm -hmm. Um, so at Turnbull, the only the only fibers really that we use would be silk. Silk is primary, um, but also sometimes wool and sometimes a cashmere. So um, the wools and the cashmere, those are only really for like what we would call like an exclusive or seasonal. They are seasonal selections. So most all of our we're known for our jacquard woven silks. So something like this is a jacquard woven silk. Okay. All of these selections are here. So, as we, as you know, any Bond enthusiast would know, this here is a grenadine tie. Um, it's very close to a lace weave tie. Um, grenadines are um, a little tight, more tightly knit uh -huh. than uh, than. Um, excuse me, a lace weave is more tightly knit than a grenadine is. Right. So it actually makes, and grenadines can pick easily, which makes it kind of interesting to me that a grenadine tie is what was chosen for a high action spy. So I'm, sure. I'm, 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 I'm assuming Mr. Bond has lots and lots and lots of spares. So Daniel, sorry to interrupt. Can no you worries. just give me like the idiot's guy of what is a grenadine tie? How would I recognize it if someone was wearing a grenadine tie? So basically, you can you can really notice it by the very tactile nature of of uh, of the weave of the tie. Right. So essentially, it's woven. Uh, personally, I actually don't know the uh, the ins and outs of how it's woven um, in terms of you know warp versus weft yes, and that sort yeah. of thing. I know uh, I know more shirting and uh -huh. with that sort of thing however um, <clears throat> excuse me you know so a tie uh, so a grenadine tie it does have you can tell that it's a grenadine because it's more knobby right. um, as opposed to a printed silk which is you know very flat okay. how many of these would you produce I mean do you stockpile these or are these kind of, you know, how many of these do you shift so let's see. I'm trying to to recall exactly. I believe we make somewhere around twenty thousand ties a year. Uh -huh. So we make quite a uh, quite quite a lot of ties, especially given the fact that the workforce is only about ten people. Yeah. So um, so there are particular. So in the in the workshop, there are people who do specific things. There is someone that does um, all the fabric sorting. There's another person that does all the cutting, and then we have a couple of people who do uh, what's called the picks. The picks are, are so if you kind of yeah. you know it's this bit here. So it's base. So when you sew the picks of the tie, you essentially have to sew through the top layer, the two layers of fabrics, uh -huh. then this layer of fabric through the lining 
without going out the other side. Right. So it, it so it takes quite a lot of um, practice and expertise, and quite frankly, really something only humans. <laughs> I'm not gonna say <laughs> that humans can do because I mean, especially with AI these days, I'm sure a machine could do it. But um, but we very but it's just another tradition that we here at Terminal and Nasser are trying to to maintain and to uphold, and you know it's just another part of our you know made in England mantra. You know that we that we want handmade garments that are meant to last. Sure. So this is a knitted tie, knitted silk. Mm -hmm. So this is actually an Italian manufacturer. So mm -hmm. I will. So this is uh, one of the only things that we actually don't make. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that you always want the best made for you. Sure. And if you can't do that, then you need to go somewhere and then you can. And for a knitted tie, that is actually Italy. Uh -huh. So, um, so what's so? First of all, every single bond has worn a knitted tie, wow. which is great. great. Most have done black, uh -huh. but um, I think also navy. Mr. Spicer can quote me on that. <laughs> so, okay. um, so what would you call this finish here? So, so this is a square bottom finish, uh -huh. and then of course you have, and, and so you have to. You have to kind of knit it, you know, nice and tight like that. Otherwise, it will just sort sure. of, you know, it. That's a part of the finishing. Essentially. Why would it not be the, the kind of peak finish? You can do that on a yeah. knitted tie. Uh -huh. I uh, I not actually have one. Um, it's just for for whatever reason, this has just been the the style right. is is a flat bottom. But um, I actually personally own one. It's from Billy Reed. Actually, uh -huh. it's an it's a knitted silk tie that has a pointed bottom. That is, um, I don't know if there's any functional aspect to that. Mm. Um, personally, I would say it's probably um, a flat bottom just because when you are knitting something, you will finish a, it. A, a, a flat finish is sure. always going to be sort of how it's done. I mean, just think of a, like a, your grandma's sweaters yeah, yeah. or your, or, or a, uh, or a scarf, because essentially it's the same thing. Yeah, right? yeah. It's, you know, sort of knitted in the same kind of a way. I guess, yeah. I so, so, yeah. So, it, so typically it's a sort of flat bottom like that. And which one would you say is the most popular that people, Bond fans, would come in and ask for a special? Hmm. Well, Personal favorite is the world's not. That's your personal favorite. Yeah, Fantastic. So it's so, a beautiful tie. Yeah, so that's my personal favorite. I mean, and how much is this one then? So all of our ties are one ninety five. One ninety five. Okay. Yeah. So um, I would say probably the most popular is Smart Never Dies though. Tomorrow probably Night. because it's the most versatile. Um, you know, uh, Die Another Day. It's a blue tie. Essentially, mm -hmm. I mean, it's gray as slate, but essentially, it's a blue tie. Yeah. But this one actually has. It's classic, but it has some punch to it. It's versatile, because um, and also brown. A lot of people don't think of, of brown, yeah. but it's but it's an incredibly versatile selection. That uh, especially going to a fall select uh, season, really great to have. So, um, but of course, I'll, everything that's on the table, the grenadine, because it's sure. a beautiful navy dye, and and the grenadines actually can sort of mix. Sort of in, in uh, high and low, dressing up, but also a little casual, and you know, in in terms of like the character of James Bond, I think that you know he kind of favors the grenadine tie just because, for that very reason, it's tailored, and so you know it's dressed up as it were. Mm. But Bond is a spy. I mean, he's a rough and tumble kind of a character. Um, you know, he's rough. He's yeah. a blunt instrument. So. Something that is that has that casualness is always, you know, I think I think he would have gravitated to that as a character. So um, same thing with uh, the turn back cuffs. You know, um, he's elegant. He's what elegant. Wearing now, right? Yeah. So I, I I do a version myself that's a one button. You but, made this. Mm -hmm, yeah. Wow. So I do I do one that's a one button. It's typically two buttons, though. Yes. Yeah. And um, and there's variations. You know, Mr. Connery's you know was you know very kind of elegantly um, curved. Uh, this particular one is more kind of flat, like like Roger Moore's. He also had, he also did you know a version with the buttons here as well. Um, Frank Foster made those shirts, and we made them as well. Um, mm -hmm. Not only for Mr. Moore, but also for. Um, so, um, so 
but as a character, I would think that it would make sense for he wanting to have the elegance of a double cuff, but the ease of a button cuff. I mean, that's precisely why I do it. Yeah. Because I want to be slightly more elevated, but also, you know, give me a little bit of ease as well. Hello, Matt Spazer here. My two favorite James Bond ties are the grenadine tie and the knitted tie. Two ties that look similar, but are entirely different. These two ties are often confused because at first glance they have similar textures, but here I'm going to clear up the differences. The knitted tie is knitted, while the grenadine tie is woven. Now here is the knit, and here is a grenadine. Knits are made of looped yarns, while wovens are made of yarns that cross over each other. Knits can stretch in any direction, while wovens that are not made of stretch materials generally do not. A knitted tie can stretch while a grenadine tie will not. Grenadine silk is woven in what is known as a gauze weave or a lino weave on a jacquard loom, where yarns not only cross over each other, but also twist around each other, giving it a unique lace-like look. It needs to be woven in a gauze weave to be true grenadine silk, though other weaves mimic the look. The black knitted tie is the choice of Ian Fleming's Bond, while Sean Connery wears both the grenadine tie and the knitted tie in his Bond films and in a wide variety of dark colors. The knitted tie is a tube of material and usually has a straight ribbed bottom to finish the knit, just like a jumper has. Some people say that it looks like a sock, and that's because it is somewhat constructed like a sock. As Daniel said, there are knitted ties with a pointed bottom, like the Tom Ford tie that Bond wears in Morocco, and Inspector, but that tie still has the same knitted construction without an interlining. They usually have a lining around the neck area to prevent that part from stretching. The grenadine tie always has a pointed bottom because, like uh, other folded silk ties, this is a tie that is folded over a wool interfacing and it has a tipping. They usually have a tipping. There are some untipped ties. So this is just like any other regular woven silk tie, like a rep tie, like most striped ties. Knitted ties can be made in a wide variety of materials. The literary bond wore them in silk, like this Turnbull and Asser tie here. They can also be made of wool, cotton, or cashmere. Here's a knitted tie from N. Peel in cashmere. Grenadine ties are typically silk, but some makers offer them in shantung silk or cashmere wool and silk blends. I even have a few grenadine ties made of polyester. Grenadine ties also come in different weaves, some small and some large. Bond grenadine ties are always silk in the larger weave, like this Turnbull and Asser tie here. The knitted tie is a less formal tie than the grenadine, especially in materials other than silk. The grenadine tie is almost always appropriate when wearing a suit, while the knitted tie can sometimes look too dressed down because of its chunkier texture.